Hello everyone, Bill here again. Um, this is my part two of the Bible 101. And what I'm basically going to discuss, I'm going to discuss this first part here and then I'll go on with the next parts. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first discuss how the Bible actually started coming into being. A lot of people automatically think it's always been in this form. This is very untrue. And in fact, um, putting in a bind book like that is actually a relatively new idea in the grand scope of how and where we got the Bible. Originally, the stories of the Bible, especially the stories of Genesis, were actually handed down to parent to child over and over again. Um, one of the things is that if um, you kind of think about this, man did not have the ability or a written language until about 6,000 years ago. Prior to that, the language was very um, crude, um, even by those standards. Okay, the thing is, is that um, it wasn't as far as Christians and Jews, Jews first, of course. Um, the Bible or scrolls or the first actual history and the first books, Genesis, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the first five books of Moses, were not actually written down in a neat form until the time of Moses. After the Hebrews had left Egypt, they were wandering through the desert, and what had happened was is that um, a tent was set up to where they were to meet, where Moses were to meet with God in the cloud. And that's what Moses would do um, quite often. In fact, I uh, would have to do a little research on this. I think he even did it like six days a week. What it is is he communed with God constantly, and through this he wrote down what we now know today as the five books of Moses, or the Torah. Okay, And this continued until his death, of course, and then Joshua, which of course is the next book after Deuteronomy, he picked it up and of course he wrote down his stories, and we call it the book of Joshua, and then this just continued. Uh, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd uh, Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, Chronicles, and so on. And this is how we got the Bible. So the thing is, is that when we think about it, um, many Christians think that, oh, look, it's always been in this solid, you know, book form. This is not true. Okay, originally, if you were to go back in time, originally it was a scroll that was written down. And what they would do is they would use lamb skin or lamb leather, okay, and they would have a very precise method of doing this. They would sew these together, and then again, it would be into a scroll. And, of course, it was handwritten out, a very long and laborious task. And the thing is, is that this is how the Bible was um, passed through through the centuries, through the millennia. Okay, And, of course, the first five books of Moses, and, of course, a large bulk of the Old Testament, of course, is in Hebrew. With the exception, of course, um, uh, several chapters in the book of Daniel is in Aramaic. But uh, we won't get into that now. But as you can see, as I've just explained, the Bible didn't actually come in the book form. It was passed verbally down, one to one to one, okay, from, from parent to child, from child to child, and then so on, until finally, like I said, Moses uh, wrote it down, codified it, and then that went on into the written word that we have today, of which, of course, like I said, was the Torah, and eventually the Tanakh or the Old Testament as we as Christians call it and that is how we got this. I'll go into more detail into this in my next episode. So thank you very much and see you all next time.